Yo, what's up? This is your boy by the slam from RadiumNationBits.com. Today, I'll cook. I'll try to cook up something. First beat I created. Uh, I thought I was recording the beats. Yes, I was recording the beats, but I wasn't recording the sound on my OBS. I wasn't recording the sound from the desktop to my OBS. So it came out. The sound quality came out a little crappy. I'll play a snippet. Uh, a little part of it so you guys can listen to it or maybe I may not and the second beat I created with that I have the loop already and I just built something up on that so with the first beat I'll show you guys because it's all, I already made the beats before I realized that I wasn't recording the sound from my desktop I'll break the beats down and show you guys how I made it and then the second one you guys can see can watch me create a second whole different beats by itself with 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 the loop already made and I build upon the loop so stay tuned and if this is the first time you're watching this channel I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button you know what it is just hit that subscribe button right now this is the melody I started with very simple and basic and these are the chords and then after that, the same thing, I played it in a different, different key, the same chord, and I just use a different tune and um, a different VST, and I flip it backwards. So this is how this one sounds like. Easy as that. So together, this is what they sound like. It's add a, a texture, it's add a texture and a feeling and a color to your melody. That way your melody would not sound boring. So it's very important to make sure that all your melody, you, you do something to it, add some dynamics, add some effects, let it sound something unique, let it sound, let it sound so beautiful to the ears. And I had this layer. I want it to be right beneath the main two melodies. So this is what it sounds like. By itself, you can tell like it sounds like basic, right? Okay, let's play this together. One and two. So I'm playing one, two and three. And then the first one, I added, um, I put half time on the first one. If you ask me, I did not even change anything on the sentence. Without the half time, this is what it sounds like. And then with the half time I put on, just adding half time to it and I did not even do anything just the basic sentence so y'all see how that changed the game and I use this vocal from Excel outputs Excel that's what the bass sounds like It's very simple. It's very simple. So with the bass, this is what we have. And then I, I thought about adding a certain vocal song. Something really plain, something simple. I, I didn't want to overdo anything so this is what i added on and i want that also to i don't want it to be loud on the beats i just want it to be you know settle i don't i just want it to be mellowed and really settle into the beats so this is what i have on there <laughs> together
So uh, I noticed my um my mixer has been giving me uh, a little problem. I noticed one side of the mixer uh, it's giving me a, a very bad glitch sound. And I like I'm the type of person when I'm mixing I prefer to switch between monitors easy. But um, how it was acting I couldn't do I couldn't do what I wanted to do. So I, I got a new audio interface that I'll be using to switch. So let me show you guys the new audio interface that I have. So I connected my two uh, pair of monitors. And this is, uh, when you look close up here, you can see A, you can see A, B, and C. So I can easily switch from monitor A to monitor B. I have a uh, KRK and Yamaha. So I can switch between those two. My which is the main purpose or the main reason why I purchased uh, this in the first place. And this is the main volume. And here you have two, two uh, headphones. You can connect two headphones, different two, two different headphones over here, which I love so much about it. And you can control each headphones by itself. So far, so good. I'm still, you know, playing with it too to see how this works and then this is um you see the mic thing over there if you have like an actual studio and you have an artist in the booth and you want to talk to them that is what you use you use that to talk to the artist while they have the headset on in in the booth so so far so good i i'm still playing with it i i i really enjoy enjoy um exploring and see different things this can do and i'm i'm really happy about this i have this um bounce beats melody going on and i'm thinking about you know creating something mm. 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 yo no this is a hit so you know what time is it Let's go. The more you do this, the more it gets easier. The more you'll be familiar with the software, the more you get creative, you, you'll be more creative or creativity will come 
to you but if you have all this and you don't use it and you think you're going to be really good at it forget it you have to really use it and then experience more the more you use it up the more familiar you become with the software and the more ideas that will come to you to help you sharpen your skills <music> Yeah, so thanks for watching. And if this is the first time you're watching this channel or you're coming across this channel, I would like you to hit that subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. Y'all stay blessed.